Smoke from the Canadian wildfires is back, and which local baseball team has won a state championship? Today is Monday, July 17th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. We're once again under a code orange air quality alert, and the air pollution concentration could become unhealthy for sensitive groups, otherwise mostly sunny, a high in the mid-80s. A Williamsport area family of six has been forced from their home following an oil spill. They woke Sunday morning to the smell of oil in their home in the 500 block of Sand Hill Road. The Sun Gazette reports oil had seeped into their basement from an outdoor underground 500 gallon tank that overflowed due to the heavy rains. Much of the property around the house will have to be excavated. One woman was taken to the hospital, another taken to jail following a fight at the Knobles campground. 32 year old Jessica Birdhoff of East Stroudsburg is accused of slashing the neck of 41-year-old Lisa Kluke during an argument Saturday afternoon. The Daily Autumn reports both women were camping together and had been arguing all day. Kluke is expected to be okay. Federal authorities are seeking a jail term for a Lock Haven man who was found guilty on charges stemming from the January 6th riots at the Capitol in Washington. The U.S. Attorney's Office is recommending a term of 46 months for 28-year-old Brian Gunderson. According to Penn Live, numerous photos and his own social media postings were used to convict him. Jonathan Eisenhuth of Middleburg was arrested last week by state police in Belfont following a traffic stop and foot chase. Police allege he broke into a collector store in York County and grabbed $22,000 worth of sports trading cards in a matter of minutes. Today marks the 27th anniversary of the TWA Flight 800 explosion, where 16 students and five chaperones from Montoursville on a French club trip to Paris were killed. This year, the victims will be remembered in a low-key fashion. Flash flooding claims the life of five people at Washington Crossing, Bucks County. The water swept several cars away. A nine-month-old boy and his two-year-old sister remain missing. The family was from South Carolina, and they were traveling to a barbecue when the flooding occurred. Escaped inmate Michael Burham has been captured. A couple checking out a barking dog encountered him and contacted police. He was reported to look tired, wet, dirty, and worn out, but still wearing his jail-issued pants turned inside out. A star athlete who began his basketball career as a Williamsport millionaire has become the 27th member of the Lycoming County Sports Walk. Chevy Troutman has a medallion cemented into the sidewalk in downtown Williamsport. And the Warrior Run Senior Little League Baseball team captured the state championship over the weekend. They now go to regionals in Maine in their next stop to the World Series. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.